As 2017 burst onto the scene, a popular goal for Americans was once again dropping some pounds. But statistics show just 8% of us actually succeed when it comes to our New Year's resolutions. A lot of these types of fad diets and different types of eating plans, it's not often the person that fails the plan, it's the diet that actually fails them. It's something that they're not able to keep up long term. We asked dietitians from Tufts Medical Center's yeah. Weight and Wellness Center for five ways to kickstart a weight loss plan in the new year. The list starts with planning ahead. Planning ahead is an an absolutely crucial part of maintaining your weight and, and, and focusing on being healthy and losing weight. We like to focus on meal planning by the week. That means each Sunday deciding and preparing what you'll eat each day that week, ensuring meals are balanced with lean protein, whole grains and vegetables and fruits. Portion controlling it in portion controlled containers so that you, you don't have to make those decisions and during the week when you're tired, when you're frustrated, when you're um, very, very busy. If you need ideas for healthy meals, search for websites like emails.com, which is full of healthy recipes and companion grocery lists for easy planning. Next, prepare for emergencies. There are days when the traffic is crazy and you had a lot of stress and you maybe can't do that meal that you prepared to eat. So we recommend having emergency options available. Things like Greek yogurt in the morning, so if you feel like you don't have time to have breakfast, this is something that you can grab on the go. Um, even something like a protein shake can be very quick and easy. Having three or four frozen meals in your freezer just as an emergency option and then restocking that every week. It's much better than having to go eat out somewhere and they're also portion controlled too. Tip number three, reduce eating due to stress. Many of us eat during busy, stressful times, like at work, without even knowing it. A lot of times it's, you know, things like crackers or cereal or chips, uh, perhaps even candy if there's a vending machine around. These types of foods reward our brain very quickly and they kind of give us that instant gratification, but unfortunately it's often short-lived. After those foods are kind of digested and processed, we're looking for more of those things again, especially if the stress persists. Instead, grab something with both protein and fiber that satisfies hunger, like whole wheat crackers and peanut butter, or an apple and cheese, or a handful of nuts. Also, be creative. Trying out some new recipes. There are great recipe books out there um, that can really give you tons of ideas of ways that you can spice up your meals. One idea, use a spiralizer to make fresh zucchini noodles instead of pasta. And then you would just saute it lightly in a pan, pour your favorite tomato sauce over it, you could pair it with a lean protein, and then that dish is going to have half of the calories than what you would have if you were using regular pasta. Or just use more spices in cooking, which adds zest to any meal. Finally, when you stick to your plan, reward yourself. Oftentimes our brain needs some kind of happy moment or reward in order to remember to do that habit again. Complete your exercise plan and allow yourself to buy a magazine or a trip to the movies or even a massage. The important thing, if you slip up, get right back on track. It's a common thing for people to say, oh, well, I'm going to start again, you know, next Monday morning when it's only Tuesday. Um, I think, you know, you can always get back on the right foot, you know, at the next meal.